So actually, uh, a lot of the new systems uh, which we have in our environment and which we see in our daily lives are using magnetic sensor for their operation. Um, if you think of a navigation system in a car, magnetic sensor, for example, measures the spinning of the wheel. Where are you going? Or measures the spinning of the wheel when you have uh, ABS or, or, or a electronic stabilization program of your car. All of this information going to the CPU of the car is done by magnetic sensors. Um, this, is the, this is the probably largest field of application of magnetic sensors and this is also to be the largest field of the temperature test with magnetic sensors. Of course, another field is coming up very fast, which is uh, magnetic sensors in consumables. You, you see your phone, you have, your, you have a compass on your phone, it shows you north and south where you go. So this is another big growing area of uh, magnetic sensors in the semiconductor. Well, the, the important thing in testing uh, magnetic uh, sensors actually is to be invisible with the chuck for the magnetic test. And uh, therefore, we put a lot of effort in research, especially in materials, and also in a way to shield and protect the measurement from the influence of the heating and the cooling of the chuck. And this leads into a certain portfolio of, we call it anti-magnetic chucks, um, and this is what we offer to the, to the industry. Well, there are, there are different uh, ways how do we do it. First of all, it started all with material research. We needed to find material which combines the appropriate magnetic uh, properties and the thermal uh, properties. Um, after having found these materials, we made a complete new design of the chuck to really make it uh, non-disturbing the magnetic measurement. And finally, we set up a very special test environment within our final test to prove with new equipment that the chuck under every condition of operation does not influence the magnetic field in its closest surrounding. This is how we do it.